My friends, Flux Context Dev is here and it's also supported in Comfy UI. As always, everything you need will be linked in the description below. This is going to be a really quick video. I'm just going to show you how to get the workflow, how to get the models, and then I'm going to do a thorough review on the weekend. So first and foremost, head up to workflow here at the top left corner, select browse templates. On the left here, we want to select flux and you'll see the basic workflow right here, flux context dev basic, click on that. And then you'll get this workflow right here on the model links. This will link you to the FP8 version. It's 11.9 gigabytes. The VAE is the same one we've been using for regular Flux Dev. Same Clip L text encoder, even the T5 text encoders. Now, this one says scaled, but I tried it with the previous FP8 T5 text encoder and it works fine. Okay. Probably the only different thing you have to be aware of is that they have to be loaded in the diffusion models folder under your main comfy UI folder models, diffusion models. Now, if you're like me and you have a potato desktop, I've only got eight gigabytes of VRAM. There are some guff models available. Shout out to Buller Winds for getting this up really quick. And for my GPU, I've been using the Q4KS variant. 6.8 gigabytes, but depending on your GPU, you can use any one of these. All right. And these are going to go into your unit folder. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure to check out my beginner playlist on comfy UI. That being said, if you're using the guff version, you just need to load the guff unit loader and the guff dual clip loader. Everything else is the same. But if you want to do the iterative editing, there's this workflow here that is basically like image to image. If you're using the scaled FP8, you can use the load diffusion model, dual clip loader, same thing. Otherwise, if not, again, you want to use the unit versions and just connect them as you normally would. There is really nothing too difficult about this workflow. So we have our flex guidance here. It's default is set to 2.5, a conditioning zero out to negate the negative prompt here. And then we have this node called reference latent, and that just goes into conditioning. And then we have the latent going into VAE encode, just like image to image. Okay. Here under the upload images is where you're going to see the image stitch controls. I'll be honest, I haven't really checked out what this all does. I suspect this is like when you're using multiple images, match image size. So your generated image is going to match your uploaded image size. And to enable the other input here, you just have to hit control B. There you go. See it's enabled. And I did a little test here where I had a portrait of this woman and I had the Black Forest Labs logo on the second image and I merged them together and you see it works pretty well. However, it's got this other side here. I literally just loaded this in to try it out. I then took this image and prompted to change the dress to colorful leaves and feathers and ended up with this. Yes, yeah, not the most glamorous in the world, but it does work. In terms of settings, guidance is at 2.5, 20 steps, CFG at one, Euler, simple, pretty straightforward. As for generation times, for standard generation, it's just like regular Flux Dev. I'm getting about a minute and 10 seconds for like an 832 by 1152. For image editing, it takes a bit longer. I'm getting anywhere from two minutes and 50 seconds to three minutes when I use this workflow. But then again, I haven't really optimized anything. This is a default workflow. I'm going to spend a bit more time later today and come back to you on the weekend. Now, if this happens to be your first time and you don't know anything about Flux Context, make sure to check out this video that's on the in screen and I'll link it in the description below. I'm also going to leave a quick start guide in the description as well. Even though in that video I'm using Flux Context Pro and Open Arts, just know the same concept applies when it comes to prompting for this model. So I'll see you in a few days. And for now, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you when I see you.